are looking at the administration of uh, Senator Okbebolo, who is now the governor of Edo State. A remarkable event that took place on the 12th of November. Now, let's get your thoughts, uh, gentlemen Amiga. What do you see as priorities that he should quickly fetter for in his 100 days in office in order to put Edo State in the right pedestal and the fist for progress? Yes, I believe that he's already doing a lot to beat the 100 days in office, which to me anyway doesn't mean anything. 100 days doesn't mean anything in politics, but well, they started it a few years back, 100 days in office. It's, so many people, when voted into power, they go to UK, they go to America, sit down there for the 100 days, and trying to make up the commissioner for this, commissioner for that. But what Okwabola has shown, that the very day he was announced to be the governor, he went into doing something. It was thinking of what he would do. He didn't wait until the two months was sorry we were doing anything. I am amazed, quite frankly, I'm amazed by what he's doing. Mm. It's like an American system. You appoint a commissioner, you, you don't wait for House of Assembly say, I'm appointing you, this is the ministry you are going to. Okay. I'm appointing that, that is the ministry you are going to. So it's no attitude of old where you say, the House of Assembly will approve all of them, then you start taking them to help the world Sudan. But it's telling you from the beginning, you have to be in that ministry. That aside, to build a flyover is a very intricate policy. I'm surprised. I'm very, very surprised that. Not only saying he will build a flyover, they are already working. There in Boba, in Boba he. Go there and see. They yeah. are working. So my wonder, my, my, my amazement comes from the fact, sorry, I'll crack voice. Comes uh, from the fact that. Uh, quite uh, audible. When, when did this one plan all this? Mm. As far as I'm concerned, for his two weeks in office, it's been wonderful. All right. I hope he will continue like that. All right. But, uh, Professor Julius Yasele, you seem to think, think differently from your expression why uh, on no, the, uh, no, no, gentleman no, Megan no, was no, 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 not differently, but cautiously. Oh. That is what, like, he added it. What I really talked of was that, okay, that commencement of the flyover, that there should be a planning stage you know, architects, impact assessments, many other things will take place before site uh, activity, hoping that all that would have been done, or maybe somebody did that in the past, and then they are leveraging on what somebody had done or put on ground. That's good. I want to, to be very honest, uh, hope that Okwero is uh, a, a, another David as it were, in the Bible where he said, he chooses the weak to confound the, the strong. That is what you have in the Bible expression. For instance, the, the disbandment of market union, I hate it so much. Mm. I'm telling you. The thing I just hope, which I want to advise through this very medium now, is that I pray he's not doing that, hoping that an Iyalodja will come and take over. Awobi has not disbanded it, maybe because the market union supported another person while the elections uh, campaign were on. But that they had honestly and passionately seen the problems, the bottleneck that those people have brought to businesses in marketplace in, in, in the state. Let me tell you, for instance, I have colleagues who are farmers, the professors who have farms, and they cannot sell their goods. Yeah. One said a woman came to, the union came to, her, to his farm and just priced and said, this is how much we must sell. And that was it, and he couldn't sell. And then he carried the corn, his maize, to Selu Market to go and sell, and they told him, this is how much uh, uh, you can't sell here until the union buys it over from you. Mm -hmm. I, and it, that, was, that was it until he started hawking his maze around offices okay. on campus. Okay. The market union, they must break their fangs because they are, they are, they are the, one of the reasons for the cost, high cost of goods and services in Nigeria. Let us reduce the effect of union. Let people go and use their hands to work and all that instead of leveraging on what others are doing. Okay. 
let's look at what perspective you have in this direction, uh, Honorable E.J. Agbuanyima, uh, because we look yeah, at we what we need to do as regards having it right in terms of accountability and transparency. Uh, what do you see as what you should do to bring about accountability and transparency? Because we know basically that this administration will still borrow money. And, and there's nothing wrong if uh, there's a loan request on that. But what is going to be used for? How do you see or advise in terms of you know, using transparently uh, in, in, in a way that it will better edo people you know, in terms of bringing you know, public scrutiny to resources and implementation of policy. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, for me, I will tell you one of the reasons why I decided to support His Excellency, the Governor of Edo State, by the grace of God today, distinguished Senator Mondo Okbewolo, is as, at, at, it is as a result of his past antecedents, his past records. A man full of humility, a man with empathy, a man who cared for the downtrodden, a man who wants others to be happy. Today, I have no regrets. I don't expect anything less than moving this state forward. I was in this race at the time. I contested for this governorship. But because of the death of my son, I pulled out. And I had to seek the face of God. Who should I support? Thank you very much. Uh, we hope to get you finished on that line uh, as soon as we get uh, connectivity in that regard. Let's join you, Odubai. What's your response uh, as regards how to you know, uh, make sure that there's more transparency and the utilities that will be done in terms of public resources. I'm, real, I'm optimistic. Even though I'm a member, a bona fide member of the opposition, but what, what can we do? At first, what I saw, noticed immediately from the innovation, was that there was, um, there was a, a, a seemingly uh, misalignment of interest. We saw banners everywhere. We have Senator Mondi Okpebulu and the Upper Progressive Congress. We are visibly thanking President Tinubu for making him governor. Whereas Edo people who allegedly said they voted for him will not be thanked, will not be appreciated. We we'll go beyond that. Uh, I, 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 when I saw the flag off of the of the the overhead bridge at Tama Park, I began to wonder: well, 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 where, where was the planning? Where was the strategy? Where was the conceptualization? Where was the cost? Uh, all, all of the the, the nitty gritty that I had to go into that place to ensure that. And even the company that that contract was given to, what was the bidding process? What was the procurement process? How can the company be given a flyover in two weeks? And the company has applied, it has bidded, all the documentation completed, and the guys resumed, if not for crime and criminality. And I've also looked for oh, carefully. You know, the, the, the man, the man for me, whether you like it or not, I do not see as a man of high intellectual capacity because I've watched the campaign clearly, in all fairness to him. He may have other strong qualities, but intelligence and intellectual capacity may not be his high point. But I've also been interested to see what exactly will not be the content of his appointment. Who are the people we bring it on board? And if you look clearly, as a politician, a consummate politician, what you will see is that there, there are factions. You know, one part is being referred by Senator uh, Goswil Akbabio is bringing some people, while Senator Adas Saleh Shumla is bringing other people. So the government is looking like a Frankenstein monster. Different people coming together to work because that is how the government was enthroned to power. Because the government did not organically rise from the, the, the collective will of the people, and as such, does not represent the, the mixture. It, it, it does not look that I'm a fool. I don't want to say I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't want to be a, a prophet of doom or to be a native doctor to say the government may not work well. But for me, no, well, see, the truth is this. When everything rises and falls on leadership, whether you like it or not, when he, I've, all, I've known long ago that an army of lions led by a dog will always be defeated by an army of dogs led by a lion. Because even if you gather so many bright stars, as long as the head is not functioning well, does not have the requisite intellectual capacity to make meaningful and productive contributions, I do not see the man coming to the light of day. So for me, I may be optimistic. I just hope and pray that all of these things he's doing is not knee-jerk approach. Because I do not see intrinsic, I do not see strategic planning, I do not see short-term goals, long-term goals, and nothing of that nature. I just see him jumping at things and trying to, to, to create a frenzy, trying to make sure that people get something talking, get something going. But okay. I strongly believe that there are those who... We see, we, we see to that, uh, Udubai. We see to that. 
Sorry. Let's quickly get the numbers on the screen uh, for our viewers on independent television to quickly join us. And of course, our listeners on independent radio uh, to join us on today's uh, episode of Politics Today. But while we do that, wait. Uh, let's quickly uh, have your ideas about the innovative funding strategy that the government of, uh, under the leadership of Senator Modok Bawalu as the governor, should deploy in order to bring respite in economic growth in Edo State? Well, where there is anarchy, there cannot be peace. The first thing should bring it to, into the states to reinvigorate the vigilante group. I'm talking about revenue in terms of funding yes. the uh, sector, funding the infrastructural development. We have IGRO. We have IGRO. Should you rest on this us over what no, the past administration no, built, or saying, how can you improve upon it? It's not giving, it's not saying tax free. Or you should everyone. also go borrowing. No, <laughs> you, you, are, you are stampeding me. Now, what I'm saying, the IGRO is not removed, it continues. It's just that the market women, that's what he has placed ban on. The market women who say this is a must be sold at such and such a price. Those ones are kidding economic development at the lower level. But for HGRO, like your company, like a props company, you must pay your tax mm. as I went to. You must invigorate that demand. Get your AGR, IGRO, and then of course, what is coming from the federal? What, what do we get from market women? Absolutely nothing. So that will not affect his, what he's going to do. We are saying that whatever comes from the federal government must be well utilized. If you remember that story in the Bible, the master was traveling far and gave some talents yeah. to, to, to his boys. Yeah. When he came back, one multiplier said, come to the kingdom of God. My dear servant, you have done well. For those who could not change anything, go into condemnation. That's all. So that's what we are saying. Some people can spend 10000 for something. Look at your dress. Somebody can spend 10000 for this dress. I will not get a fitting dress like you. And somebody will spend 5000 I will get a fitting. It is ability. It is your brain which must be at work at all times. Your brain must be at work. So I, 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 the IGRO is not removed. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Well, uh, you can join us on the number 0807-347-0300 for viewers and, of course, listeners on Independent Radio. But that will be after this time out for a break. Do stay. <laughs> African cultural heritage begins from here. Join us this season as ITV Network presents Igwe Festival on Go TV channel 140 and Star Times on channel 130. First on ITV Network. Well, let's quickly get responses from our callers on independent television and independent radio uh, while we wait for the calls to uh, come in. Okay, I think we have our first caller. Good morning, caller. Please tell us your name and location and make your contributions quickly. Godfrey calling from uh, Akrawa. Go ahead, Godfrey. I want to say that in, in that just as a the intention of them is one of your big countries. The reason is that okay. Is that Obama is the death was that 
Thank you, Godfrey. Thank you, Godfrey. Uh, let's allow other callers to join. Please, thank you. Your articulation has been heard. Thank you. Okay, while we wait for others to contribute, uh, let's get your strategies for this uh, government in terms of having to fund the sectors and infrastructure development. The three senatorial districts, ranging from Edo North to Edo Central, to, we had flourishing businesses. That is where the uh, uh, first is that the people need to be employed. Then you need to get flourishing businesses to be able to earn your tax so that you can fund governance. That is the way it's supposed to be. Where is the Opela cement factory that you had in a donut? We, have, we even made the conflicts. There's a company that was making conflicts in a donut in the past. You come to a do central. You have the Casavita, Tito, the Ewu Flammy is moribund. Instead of assisting now that Chris has bought it, so that you can make tax on there and citizens can work. And if you come here, Bender Brewery, the lacuna there can be broken. It is not cast on stone. You can still do things to get industries. What makes a, con a country industries and agriculture? Hmm, fantastic country. That is it. So you have to get into. When the SY go, uh, uh, government in Edo said they were planning farms and all that, that I didn't quite see at the end of the day. But he can dig on that. Hmm. Get people back on it. Create security, like Amega has said. Okay. And then get people back to okay. farm and get the industries working. They should remember, we started with Delta on the same point. Delta is way ahead. Let me tell Edo people. Three universities were created by the governor in Delta, and they are up and running. At Denis Osadebo University in Asaba, University of Delta Agbo, and the Federal University of Technology at Ozoro. They are all doing well. Meanwhile, the established one here is only Iyamu that is uh, working. Okay, let's quickly get all the contributions. Thank you. Uh, Colors, please. Uh, let's get your view. We have a caller now. Good morning, caller. Morning. Okay, quickly tell us your name and kickstart your contribution. Mr. Gerard, I'm calling from Abuja. Okay, Gerard, go ahead. To be honest with the sworn in governor of a state, what I'm looking at him, his body language and everything, him becoming the governor that the good people will, like, will enjoy. Since he's been on air on board, Think him as an event, but I'm watching everything. Like, let me just like the flyover of a thing. He just out of a study, I have a flyover. How did they plan in there? When when and how did they work it out? They are giving a contact some down within a two to forty eight hours or thereabouts. Somewhere dictating or telling him what to do or what not not to do. To be good for it, two people I have to be honest with you. Father has started dictating already. 24 hours of his, this one as a governor, the governor has started dictating already. Uh, let's be honest with ourselves. Say, but I'm not seeing him being the governor. I don't know But I, I, I pray that he will prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. But though, Thank you. Speaking, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We quite uh, admire your contribution. Let's get your temple, uh, Ijag Bayima. Some persons are already criticizing the governor over his speed in getting contractors to, you know, embark on the projects just now, basically looking at a flyover project. But do you see this? Because uh, sometimes it's difficult to access how one can really, you know, hit the ground running. Now, this is the governor that is hitting the ground running, coming up with projects, you know, just now. But some are against it, thinking that it's too speedy. What's your contribution in that, EJ? Uh, thank you uh, to our, lost, our last caller. I want to say this, that uh, 
some of us and the uh, Edo people are smarter and wiser. These are just nothing but uh, people are going to go to Nobaseki, who bastardized this, this state and took us back without making Edo state a better place. And of course, all of us know that. That is why people came out to support distinguished the distinguished and right honorable Dennis Idaosa. So they have the right of their own opinion. But let them mind that, look, this governor is ready. He have hit the ground running. And God Almighty, the grace of God that has come to this state will remain forever. Because if we are talking about, hold on, hold on, don't cut <laughs> me off, hold on, let me, you know, learn. If we are talking about fly, fly over, in the history of Edo, Bende, Midwest, no one have ever thought about it. That's one of my campaigns when I was campaigning. Thank and you. here's the governor. Thank here's you, the governor EJ. That Thank about you, EJ. But uh, quickly, uh, we are pressed for time. So I want to take the contribution of uh, Shedrak before we call it a wrap on this. So Shedrak, please, uh, in one slide, just quickly tell us in a few seconds uh, what you see as the way forward in Edo State. Yes, thank you very much. Uh, what I see as well forward is that uh, Monday Okwebolo should rise to the occasion and they should not engage in the new jack approach. It shouldn't be swayed by the pedestrian sentiment of party members. What I'm asking is that a governor that got into office under two weeks is awarding contract. So how did those companies be there for the contract? Where was the planning was I yet somebody is answering and is making allusions to God in Obasaki. I just laugh. For me, like I said before, Monday Pueblo cannot fail because he did not tell us he was going to do anything. There is no document, there is no manifesto, there is no video, there is no cafe clip where I promised anything that we can use to judge him. So let us just continue to hope. That the government deliver on his mandate. Thank you. Hopefully, Thank you before so actually Mayor Godalo will be reclaiming his mandate. Thank you in so court. much, Udubai. Thank you so much, Udubai. In as much as you have had your opinion, but uh, for the betterment of Edo State, we can only, you know, hope and continue to assist the governor, Senator Mondo Okbewolo, to make sure that he's able to carry out what is expected of Edo people. And it's an opportunity for him to, you know, you know, write his name in gold. And we expect that he does that. Big thanks. Uh, Gentlemen, amigo, uh, Barista at Law, big thanks, uh, Professor Julius Yasele, and big thanks to you, uh, E.J. Agbanyima, and of course, uh, Shedrak Udugbai, and our listeners on independent television and radio. We'll do the same time next week from Philip Omo Gupon. Is goodbye.